एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन फिगर शोज टू ब्लॉक्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट स्लाइडिंग डाउन एंड इंक्लाइन सर्फेस ऑफ इंक्लिनेशन थर्टी डिग्री द फ्रिक्शन को एफिशियंट बिटवीन द ब्लॉक ऑफ मास टू के जी एंड द इंक्लाइन इज म्यू वन एंड दैट बिटवीन द ब्लॉक ऑफ मास फोर के जी एंड इंक्लाइन इज म्यू टू कैलकुलेट द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ टू के जी ब्लॉक इफ ए म्यू वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू एंड म्यू टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री बी म्यू वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एंड म्यू टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू इन पार्ट ए ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सिंस द कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द लोअर ब्लॉक एंड द इंक्लाइन इज मोर देन द कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द अपर ब्लॉक एंड द इंक्लाइन बोथ द ब्लॉक्स विल मूव टूगेदर लेट द एक्सलरेशन विद विच दे मूव बी ए नाउ लेटेस्ट ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ द फोर के जी ब्लॉक A gravitational force of m two g acts vertically downward. The component of gravitation along the incline is m two g sin theta and perpendicular to the incline is m two g cos theta. The incline will exert a normal contact force n two perpendicular to the incline. The smaller block will push the block down the incline with a force say n naught. The friction between the block and incline mu two times normal will act up the incline. We have assumed the acceleration of the block along the incline to be a. Since there is no motion in the block in direction perpendicular to the incline, there must be no net force in this direction. Therefore, n two must be equal to m two g cos theta. As per Newton's second law, net force down the incline must be equal to mass times acceleration of the block. Therefore, m two g sin theta plus n naught minus mu two n two is equal to m two a. Putting the value of n two, we get m two g sin theta minus mu two m two g cos theta plus n naught is equal to m two a. Now let us draw the free body diagram of the two kg block. Gravitational force of m one g acts on it in vertically downward direction. The component of gravity along the incline is m one g sin theta and perpendicular to the incline is m one g cos theta. The incline will exert a normal contact force n1 in direction perpendicular to the incline and friction force equal to mu1 times normal up along the incline. The reaction of the force the block applied on 4 kg block that is n0 will act on it up the incline. It will move with same acceleration as the 4 kg block. Balancing the forces perpendicular to the incline, we get n1 is equal to m1g cos theta. Writing the equation for motion down the incline, we get m1 g sin theta minus n naught minus mu1 n1 is equal to m1 a. Putting the value of n1, we get m1 g sin theta minus mu1 m1 g cos theta minus n naught is equal to m1 a. Adding equations one and two, we get m2 g sin theta plus m1 g sin theta minus mu1 m1 g cos theta minus mu2 m2 g cos theta is equal to m1 a plus m2 a simplifying we get m1 plus m2 into g sin theta minus mu1 m1 plus mu2 m2 into g cos theta is equal to m1 plus m2 into a or a is equal to g sin theta minus mu1 m1 plus mu2 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into g cos theta Putting the values, we get a is equal to ten into one by two minus zero point two into two plus zero point three into four divided by two plus four into ten into root three by two. That is five minus sixteen by six into root three by two. That is two point seven meters per second square. This is our answer for the first part of the question. For part B of the question, since the coefficient of friction between the lower block and the incline is less than the coefficient of friction between the higher block and the incline, both the blocks will move independently. In this case, there will be no force acting between the two blocks. In the free body diagram of the 2 kg block, m1 g sin theta will act down the incline. Normal will be equal to m2 g cos theta, and friction equal to mu1 m1 g cos theta will act up the incline. Net force down the incline must be equal to mass into acceleration. Therefore, m1 g sin theta minus mu1 m1 g cos theta is equal to m1 a, which implies a is equal to g sin theta minus mu1 g cos theta. Putting the values, we get a is equal to 10 into 0.5 minus 0.3 into 10 into root 3 by 2, or a is equal to 5 minus 3 root 3 by 2, that is 5 minus 2.6 or 2.4 meter per second square. This is the answer to second part of the question. In order to request solution to any question from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.